Welcome, this is Jeff from the Watkins Tree Farm. How are you guys? We have the LTX 1046 in the shop again. So I was helping my brother troubleshoot some stuff about a month ago. I was showing him from my tractor, hey, this is how this tractor set up. Why don't you check your tractor out? In the meantime, I took the belt off. In order to get the belt on, I had to remove the bearing covers. Long story short, my bearings that I put on there during the winter are broke. Uh, three, two of the four ears are broke off. So I have purchased a, a spindle assembly and then I had some idler pulleys underneath the lawnmower, uh, the drive belt idler pulleys. It was, it just whee, squeals like crazy and so since I'm gonna dig down and get those spindles fixed we're gonna get underneath the lawnmower and we're gonna get those idler pulleys replaced so right now I'm going to remove the deck get the deck away from the lawnmower and I'll show you what those bearing assemblies look like on these Cub Cadet lawnmowers there's a keeper right back there that's spring loaded you just pull that out there's one on each side and by the way thank you Beth for the creeper but I'm taking those out and then there's a uh, kind of a shaft that goes from the front of the tractor back to the uh, lawnmower and I pulled that out so now we're going to pull out the deck and get started on these uh, spindle bearings So before we start this process for the mower deck, you will need a 15-16 socket for the blades. You will need a 10 millimeter socket for the uh, guards, the pulley guards on the outside of the mower deck. And then you'll need a uh, 13 millimeter socket for all the bolts that hold the spindle bearing assemblies in and that's about all you need as you'll see in the upcoming video i do use a little bit of a cheater bar and a two by four two by four to lock in the blade and then a cheater bar to give me a little more uh, torque to break that nut loose and uh, you should be good Let's get... so this is fairly simple there's three bolts holding each cover and just undo them and pull them out and then that gives you access to the uh, spindle assemblies. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. Look down here. That one's broke off and that one's broke off. This one looks pretty good but we're going to replace it while we're at it. This seems fairly intimidating, and it was at first, but once you figure out where to put the blocks and you have a good cheater bar, uh, they break loose and come out pretty easily. Uh, sometimes they can be a booger, but for the most part, uh, they come, they break loose, like I said, easily. Uh, they do make a piece that clamps to the blade and uh, mounts to your mower deck. I have not broke down to purchase one of those because the 2x4s work just great. Once the deck is turned over you can see the four bolts for each spindle assembly. And it's just as simple as putting a socket or an impact on there and zipping them right out. Fortunately the one on the right here in the video had two less bolts because they obviously broke off and got lost in the yard. So this went fairly smoothly, fairly easily. And uh, once you see me flip the deck, those spindles fall right out and then you're able to drop the new ones right in. Well, as you can see, those ears snapped right off. And so Andy, thank you for giving me a reason to get under the tractor and get under the lawnmower and check this out because this wouldn't have been good if it let loose who knows where that blade would have gone so let's get these replaced and uh, move on well here's the new bearing 
Uh, it looks about the same. The only thing I do notice on this new one, there isn't a grease zerk. This is a sealed unit and we'll see how long it lasts, but uh, I'm a little disappointed that this doesn't have a grease zerk. We'll get it in, that's all I got, and uh, we'll see how long they last. Now, I could have probably done this a little different instead of just laying this on my leg, but I was able to, to just reach underneath and get one bolt started on each side. And so once I got those bolts uh, snugged up and fairly tight, I was able to lift the deck up and then eventually roll it all the way over and then put all the rest of the bolts in. And once again, it's just a reverse of what we did previous and tighten them down, get them good and snug, and uh, we're ready to put the blades on. Well, we got those replaced. Now I just need to get the, the blades on there and tightened up, flip this over, reroute the belt, and we'll be good to go. And then we can move on to the idler pulleys on the lawnmower. I received all this stuff uh, off of Amazon. It's 810 lawnmower replacement parts. So far, I've been pretty pleased. These blades even have a labeled grass side up. So that kind of makes it uh, dummy proof. We'll get those uh, nuts tightened and flip this over and finish this job up. I have the uh, LTX 1046 Cub Cadet lawnmower jacked up and put on jack stands and I use this floor jack do not leave your lawnmower jacked up in the air with this only it could uh, release oil pressure and come down on you so it's always a safe bet to use floor jacks and that's what I'm gonna do I'm underneath the tractor right now and I have one two three pulleys and I ordered two pulleys. So this one doesn't sound too good. Sounds like metal on metal. I'm going to release this spring and take the tension off of these two pulleys, check them too, and replace the worst. If they're both bad, then I guess I'll stop and order one more pulley. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. There's a boss on this pulley and it needs to go against the frame. That way it offsets it off of the frame and so you don't pinch it like I just did. Let me clean you off here.
You can see that one spins pretty well, so I'm going to keep that one and replace this one. <laughs> Once again, remember to put remember to put the boss down. Well, I feel like this whole project has gone fairly smooth. When I first started down this road of working on my own lawnmower about a year ago, I've done two videos now. Hopefully I'll link them uh, throughout this video. I was pretty intimidated uh, tearing into this. But you know, if I've said it once, I've said it a million times. It's one of the reasons I did this channel is to give you guys confidence that you can get in there and you can do your own work. Uh, once I got in there, it was two bolts for those pulleys and the hardest part was getting the spring on and off of that tensioner. So once I did that, we are good to go. I gotta charge the battery and uh, put the lawnmower down and we'll fire it up and you can see that after my closing. But I hope this video helped you guys at least give you confidence to tear into your tractor if you have pulley problems either on the deck or on the idler pulleys of the lawnmower. Now I have a video of uh, rebuilding the deck which I kind of redid on this one and then I have a video of me replacing the drive belt on this tractor as well. So go check those out. I thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you got something out of it. You guys take care. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.